We talked about the forward walk. Yeah, so I just want to make clear that it's the settlement, step, transfer, rotation, and settlement into step. Now, one thing is important is to time the settlement. It's mostly used, it's not always, but it's to time the settlement with the movement. Yeah? So what I often see is that there's some settlement going on, but it's not timed with the movement of the spine. Yeah? So what is important is that no matter how much I time in terms of I want to do 80% of my settlement here, I still need the last 10% of my settlement to actually move out. So I always call it like a, a scooping action. Yeah? Or it's like a slope. In the end, it's the deepest point just before I go out. It's like scooping ice cream. Yeah, it's the end that's the, that's the deepest point. So when I'm, for instance, here, yeah, I transfer the weight, I rotate, and now I still have power. The settlement there is actually what pushes me out of that step. Yeah, because that's where I see often the, and that's where it doesn't become logic for me, because I see you have to go forward, but actually everything is working backwards. And now I have to move, and uh, in my body it's impossible to actually be on time. Yeah? I still have to now work my spine forward and push off from that leg to get onto the foot. Yeah? Good. Um, now, we often speak about the forward walk. Yeah? But what is, how is this reflected in the backward walk as well? Because it's exactly the same thing that I have to be aware of. Because often what we see again, once we place the, there's a lot of of rotation and settling, and the foot is still there. And now it becomes a bit of a stiff leg going on here. Yeah? But it's actually not time. How again, I place the foot, I transfer the weight and the pendulum, so I now arrived here, underneath my shoulder. So I can now time that rotation and the settlement together with the free leg. Yeah? Especially the placement of the foot, I always say for myself, I don't know what's behind me. I have to check first. So it's very clear for me to check. Ah, now I can actually transfer my weight. I can check. Now I transfer my weight. I check. Now I transfer my weight. So it creates quite a strong base for myself to be able to transfer that weight back there. And sometimes I see it's together and it's falling. Yeah? Um, Just how we organize is now the same action. Yeah? yeah? We can do it together. Yeah. Um, the clarity of that organization, you, I'm, say, I'm taking over now because we girls most of the time go backwards and that, that's a lot of the experience that I, he just talked about. That exact clarity of organizing my step back and this particular moment I would like to point out because what is happening there? If you place your arms here, this is basically your powerhouse where you drive yourself into a certain direction. This lower spine is my engine that drives me into a certain place. So once I've placed my right foot, in this case, backwards, I need to activate that engine and transfer all my weight onto that leg. And vital here is not to open the hip. So basically what Trolls was saying, you place the foot, you transfer your weight, and you create your pendulum into the side direction. This is the tricky bit. So we never would go step and open up here already because now I've abandoned my leg. You recognize the feeling? <laughs> yeah, so basically once you take the step and you transfer the weight, the pendulum happens very clearly to side, almost to the degree that the inner thighs feel they work towards each other, mm -hmm. right? So that's my pendulum. The next thing is my rotation connected to the taking of the leg and the settlement to step backwards. All right, if you need some more space, come more forward. Let's <laughs> Sound it so Sound it so. Okay, good. So let's just try it one more time. You can do it in your own timing, but the task today is to order them. Order them very dryly in your body. So we've got and step and transfer that lower spine pendulum to side. Rotation right on the time the free leg set on step. And then transfer pendulum to side clearly. Rotation, take the leg, strike back. Transfer pendulum to side. Check, do you have connection here? We used to practice with like money notes. <laughs> Whoever dropped the money, 
<laughs> whoever dropped the money, the teacher got that one. So I was sure that I had to keep that tight, you know. So when you step, and really transfer here, keep that very tight, guys. And then from there, you can create your rotation into the next step. Step, pendulum, rotation. Step, pendulum to side, rotation. Yeah, so obviously, in my mind, is this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The more it speeds up, it just, the gaps between become smaller, but the order doesn't change. Yeah? Why is that so important? Because that is directly related to the person in front of me who is going forwards in this moment. Because he's got to go to exactly the same order. So this moment here, right, his hip is forward and mine is to side. That creates a continuous so-called push, like a positive feeling towards each other. It's not a separate thing. We are actually using our body step. Now, if I had opened here, I already lose him. Yes? So that moment here, moment of this we would take the step, and here, step. And then this moment, he creates that togetherness in the connection, so that from there, he can decide to lead me into the next step and furthermore. Yeah, because usually we get, oh, he pushes me too much, she pulls me, so on and so forth. Most of the time, it's just because the actions you're doing are not timed or not well ordered. This is basically what we're trying to say. Simplify and make clearer, a lot of your problems are going to go away. <laughs> I promise you that. Actually, right? one of the most difficult things in the basic is to keep it constant yes. all the time. To actually be able to transfer and keep the constantness of the weight. So there's no push and pull or no hiccups or any um, immediate uh, movements. It's actually just constantly from one movement to another. Because once I then, I'm so sensitive towards every inch of my movement, I'm then able to decide, okay, it's this inch or those three inches I want to speed up. But I decide that because I know exactly which part of my foot I'm at, so there, okay, I actually want to get a bit quicker there, Boom. but then I want to slow it down again. Yes. Yeah? yeah? But I'm sensitive towards those small stations and how I link them together. Now just for a man, what we often uh, do whenever we step backwards, for instance, we have replays of step. Yeah, so in a check here, right? Boom. I don't have a step back now. I literally just have a replace. And this is where, this took some time for me to understand as well, that it doesn't continue back here. Because this is the feeling I then get. And I drop the sensor, but actually the awareness of, from here on, I just need to transfer that weight onto that foot and have it exactly what Ina said, the pendulum is to side and not behind. Yeah, but the awareness of that underneath yourself and staying there. It's quite a nice feeling it's a because it's feeling. also from where my spine is um, traveling backwards to it's stationary so I can now receive that weight of enough. And now that's the next step underneath myself to receive it again on the next step. So do you all have our, our partners? Do you have couples together? Majority, yeah? 